today is I'm actually doing like the third haul, no, I think it's the fourth haul of this summer. And I can't believe that because I didn't do any, I used to do like literally no hauls. Like before the holiday, I've done like four out of the whole year I've been on my channel. Oh my gosh, it's flipping mental, I'll tell you that now. So today I thought it'd be a really good idea to do a West Wales haul, which was my second holiday I talked about in the last video. So I'm just going to be showing you from the order I bought them, like on this day I bought this, I wouldn't be just doing like random things I bought on random days, it's going to go from the first thing I bought to the last things I bought on my holiday. It is going to be like the Isle of Wight haul that I did last summer. Um, I think it, I was on this month as well. I think I'd still be on it if it was last year, yeah. I would. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit like the Isle of Wight haul. So, I hope you enjoy. So, the first thing I got is just a bracelet. I really liked it. It was from a cathedral in West Wales somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. But it's just got a cross on it. It's like it looks like a rope wrapped around it. So you just clip it in like that. Black and white. You can get like green and white and red and white, but I like this the most. And it just zips up like that. I've seen kids um, wear them around school as well. The next thing is actually this, and I, my mum doesn't really like it. She said, "Oh, it's too dark." But I brought my own money, so I literally I bought everything here except about. I think two items I so I bought everything here my own money except two items it's just like it's all these photographs I'm going to show you now I've got about seven of them and um, all taken in West Wales so it's just like a, a postcard or something um yeah it's got a, just a pale back and yeah I really like this the next one that has a very moody atmosphere to it and I think this is absolutely amazing and I saw it and it, I think it would kind of remind me of Pirates of the Caribbean and it reminded me of another one, I'm not quite sure, I think it was Jurassic Park for some reason but yeah, it has got like a maroon kind of styled and postcard at the back so yeah I just love the rocks and the birds and the waves so those two are matte and this is glossy um, as you can see and I love this. I've got loads of pictures of the sunset like when I went to the Isle of Wight but and it's got like a signature I think her name's like Jackie Sim Smile something but yeah I just absolutely adore this and I love how the rocks are there and yet again it's in a kind of native, na native country to me so I love it. I got this from a different shop um, those three were from the same shop, but this is from a different shop. And it's quite an easy one to get yourself, kind of like an easy photo to get yourself. But, I guess again it has a postcard on the back. And it's just like a stream with some rocks and sand. Yet again, my mum didn't really like this one. Um, but, I just didn't like the rock one either, but it's this one. She says she doesn't like it because it's two people in there but I kind of like it, it kind of <laughs> looks romantic um, but you know I love all the clouds there and the sun I just love everything and it's like getting this postcard and it yet again is glossy and so is that stone one I just showed you now this is one of the only things that my mum bought me uh, yet again it's a postcard as you can see and it, it's from a different shop again, but this one's really beachy and quite a few things were expensive, but it was just so creative. And it's a seagull with two, well, they look like tiny little sardine fish, but, and it's got half of like a boy in it. Um, but it just looks, it's um, um, kind of like embroidered, but because it's a card, it's obviously like an embroidered picture, but it has been like taken a picture off. And stuck on a postcard so that was my mum and my dad's favorite when I bought and it's matte again from the same shop and my uh, mum bought this for me again everything from this shop my mum brought for me and um, it's a cut oh, in this at the back it's again a card and it has an envelope and everything but 
I'm just gonna frame all these postcards and like card things in like beachy picture frames but it's like got a newspaper it's got like smooth materials as embroidered and card I just really like it and add like sparrows and things but I like beachy birds like seagulls so I got this one I'm not exactly sure how much they were but I think the most expensive were most expensive was about £2.25 or £2.50. I just got this randomly from a shop and it was the last one left um, but I saw it and I was like I need to get that because it was only like about £1.50 and it's just actually this it looks a bit weird because it has this on thing on it but that's what it looks like and it's like one of those 3D ones of beetles or insects and yeah it says on the back it was £2 so yeah, only 50 pence off, but I really like this and I like this like tassel thing as well. The next thing was, well I picked up and I've seen them in the Isle of Wight and I bought this like china shell. <laughs> this I bought this which was in the last haul actually, it's one of the first things I got. And um, this same glass shop kind of, but in a different place. <laughs> but these are Steve Robertson glass art shop. I just picked up two little leaflets which were free but I wanted to show you anyway and they have like little bubbles in them and I think they're really cool like that just like how like cool it is and the next thing um, I got at like a fair or like a what's, yeah just like a fair or something I was going to say feet but no <laughs> but I really loved this I saw it I was like yep buying it um, I bought this, it was, I think it was £1.50, but it looks way more than that, it looks like it should be like £3, £3.50 or so. But I just love the black and white, I've been loving black and white, chrome, chrome, on, chrome or something, I forgot what it's called. But it just has a bird cage on it, I don't really, well that says ten and a half trick gold finch cage. Oh that's probably what it is in the bird cage. And um, it's got like... I think they're French or Italian words on the back and I just love it. It's got a little rope, yeah. I don't really need any bookmarks but I got two anyway. <laughs> the next thing I wouldn't have gotten if it didn't look so similar to something I've had. Um, I used to have a greyhound dog who um, died of something in, back in 2009 or so and he was called Fergus and now I have a dog who's a collie or Welsh border collie and she's called Henny. And these two, this dog looks like, if those two had puppies, this is what their puppy would look like. It looks like a cross between them both. And it just reminded me both of the two dogs I've ever had. And she's got his eyes, just, or he, like my dog I have now. And the same kind of collar as my dog I have now. But these ears and like the greyness and the snout just reminds me of my old dog. So I really like it. And there's a card, the back looks quite nice as well. And it's just like... A brown envelope, it was about £2.25 I think, it printed in England, so yeah, I just liked it, just reminded me of things. So the last thing I brought was this, these, and my mum actually brought me these again, but there was like lime green ones, those lime green roses, and I was tempted to get them, they're butterfly backed, um, but I got the black ones, because I like black and white, don't I? Um, they were £3.99, so basically £4. That's just what it looks like on the back. Um, so I just really like these. It looks quite detailed, but the camera's made them like blotchy. So they're just butterfly backs, and I really like them. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> so the next thing is actually makeup, and I didn't buy this. My auntie actually gave it to me because we did go down to West Wales just to see her. And she is my dad's younger sister and only sibling, or only sister. Um, but she gave me like a variety of makeup. She's like, oh, I don't use these anymore. They're quite posh and fancy, but yeah, I don't use them. And I picked three, no, not three, eight things out of them all. Quite difference between those numbers, Laura. But these are the ones I picked. Please don't judge my makeup choice because I've been loving. I used to love blues, but I bought some blue just in case I started liking it back. But I've been loving brown snap. If you want a makeup routine, please tell me in the comments below. So it is actually Estee Lauder, <laughs> flippin' act posh, right? And there's a brown, there's a dark brown one, a paley kind of grey, like a, a light pink and kind of like a mouse grey. It says the actual colours on the back. So we've got 
I don't know which ones it is, but we've got Chestnut, Storm, Rose, and it doesn't say the other one, but they were made in Italy. I love them so much. My auntie hasn't used them or anything though. She just bought them for the sake of it. <laughs> so using the next thing, kind of similar set out. It's just a pale pink that can be used as a highlighter, a green, a blue, and a brown, just a variety of colours there. So one's called Sand Dollar, Pistachio, Silver Ice, and yet again, it doesn't see the, say the other one. But it doesn't, it says New York on it, but then it says Made in Italy on the bottom. And, or, in the USA. Okay, that would make sense, but okay. So this is what they look like. I'm just gonna go through the Estee Lauder things. This is a different one. Um, it's in the, like a royal blue palette. Um, it's just a peachy kind of gray. Not grey, like a sandy colour. It's Estee Lauder, has a little brush with it. It's a bit ruined, but you know. Um, it's 41 orange. And this is just what it looks like. Yes, again, this is kind of different. It just looks like this. You just slide it up. You probably know how to use it. There's a... Oh, hello. Hi. And there's just a little, like, mirror. And... Um, it has two browns, there's a paler one by here and there's like a tan one that you can use for a bronzer, although these are eyeshadows. Um, it's called 41 Sun and 24 Henna. I'm pretty sure Henna's that one and that one's Sun. I only picked up um, one Clinique thing, but here it is. Um, it's just four and I think I knew this off by heart, I already read them. So this is Stone Violet. This is Sherbet Berry, I think. Actually, it's nothing like it. It's actually Strawberry Fudge. And that one is Pink Chocolate. And that one is Chocolate Chip. Yeah. Yeah. So those are those colours. This is what they look like. The next thing is a popular favourite that my mum has quite a lot of, so do I. And it's just another seven one, which is a make from Boots. And it's just a tiny little one. No bigger than my firm actually. And it's in the there's two of these actually, but I only bought one. It was it's hyperangenic and it's a stay perfect shadow one. And it's in them in the shade number ten wheat shift or wheat shift, I'm not sure. It's kind of like a mirror blue. But it's just like a purpley brown. They're kinda of similar my mum said, but I don't really think they are actually. So that is all I brought back from West Wales. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and like and comment. Well, like it's thumbs up, you know. Please comment below if you want that makeup routine because I've been loving it so far. Bye, guys.